getting that final mix to sound really right, really tight, really well polished is a very big challenge. A few years ago when I was trying to get signed by labels, I was sending out my material and I was getting rejected. And the feedback that I got more times than not was that my mix was not good enough. So I worked really, really hard to improve my mix. And eventually I started getting records released with labels and my mixes improved a lot. So since I started BassGorilla.com, I've interviewed a lot of top music producers and got so many more tips from them about how to mix that I feel like I have a ton of knowledge in my head that I want to be able to share with other producers who are interested in it. So one of the key areas that really needs a lot of work and attention is the low end. So thinking about your sub bass, your mid-range basses, your kick drum, your snare drum, all those elements that fill out the low frequencies in your mix, they can be very difficult to tame and control and get them to sit well together and gel well together. I've learned so many little tips and tricks that I wanted to be able to put them together and show you my approach for how I mix down tracks these days. This course is called How to Mix Your Low End. It's two hours and 17 minutes in total and it consists of 14 step-by-step -step tutorial videos. And in those videos, what you will see is me making a track from the start. So building up, making the mid-range bass, making a sub bass, choosing a kick and building up a snare. And then you're gonna see how I mix in those different elements together to really create a dynamic sounding mix. The example I make is at 174 BPM and it's a drum and bass style beat, but even if you make electro house or dubstep or glitch hop or whatever you make, you can apply all the techniques that I show you in this course to your preferred style of music. I think this course will be really useful for you and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.